Hey guys, today I will going to show you how to fix the game freeze or crash at the Call of Duty Warzone. And I will going to show you how to optimize the in-game FPS. So let's jump in on how do you fix the game freeze or crash. Okay, let's go. So the first thing you need to do is update the Windows update on your desktop. So how do you update it? So first go to the Windows, and then go to the settings after it loads, to the update and security, and here after it loads, you see this, check for updates, so if it says there's an update, update it, install and download, after it updates, restart your computer, and the second thing is update your graphics driver so how do you update your graphics driver so for the AMD users just go right click then open AMD Radeon software okay. just click home Wait. and then here click this check for updates so if it says download download it and install done now for the nvidia users i think you go to the chrome or on your browsers and then go to the nvidia drivers and check for your graphics card driver and download it okay so now for the third thing you need to go is press windows and then r Entertainment, Blizzard Battle.net, and then Cash, and then you will see this. So before you do this, make sure your uh, Battle.net launcher is fully closed. Make sure you exit it. Then you should delete this. Okay, delete that. All of that. Okay. Now the fourth thing to do is launch your Battle.net launcher okay you will going to set your direct x to 11 <coughs> sorry 11 okay so yeah just go to the game settings and then here so just click this that done and then after that four things you do after that four steps you need to launch the game okay so now let's launch the game okay guys so once you load into the game make sure you make sure you wait because it will have some Shaders installation right here it will say pack one and pack two and pack three so make sure you finish that three before you play the game so after you finish that three installation shaders okay make sure you exit the game and then restart your computer and then that's how and then that's how it is okay so don't play the game after the shaders installation is complete so after you exit the game, restart it, open the game, and then play. So now, to optimize your in-game FPS, just launch the game, then go to the options, and then go to the graphics, and then for the display mode, you can choose full screen extended window or full screen. So for those who is recording and streaming, you can choose full screen extended window so you can choose so you can choose on your window so for those using the alt tab for those who have single monitor and then to those who have dual monitors or more monitors in their setup you can choose full screen okay and then if you want more fps 
choose full screen but you will get sometimes hard to switch on the window you're going to choose if you're recording or streaming so yeah i choose for me full screen extended window for the display monitor choose your main monitor to what you are gaming in and then display adapter your gpu and then screen refresh rate your monitor refresh rate okay so mine is 76 and then render resolution go to 100 and i'll tell you don't go above 100 okay to optimize your settings aspect ratio set this to automatic sync every frame or vsync disable this and then custom frame rate limit Set the, I set this to unlimited because I want my FPS to push it harder when I'm in game so I will not experience game freeze or crash or lag okay so for those who are streaming and recording to avoid stutters use custom gameplay custom frame rate limit set this to your monitor refresh rate menu custom frame rate limit set this to 60 and then out of focus custom frame rate limit set this to 30 okay for those who are streaming and recording choose custom but for those who are only gaming set this to unlimited okay and if you update your graphics driver make sure you always restart your shaders installation okay so yeah and then display gamma if you're playing on a monitor use 2.2 srgb and for those who are playing on a TV, use 2.4 BT1886. And me, I am playing on a monitor, so I'll choose the 2.2. Okay. For those to the details and textures, if you want to optimize and see smooth graphics, choose low. But if you want some more graphics, choose normal. So if you want, if you have a strong GPU, choose high. But for me always choose normal because there are no difference between normal and high okay so if you want some more fps choose low and for those who have low specs on your computer choose very low for me i want low only and then texture filter anis anisotropic choose this to low particle quality low bullet impacts and spray this doesn't affect your FPS so it's your personal preference and yeah for me it's enabled so you can disable this uh, tessellation disable this and then shadow for the shadow and lighting shadow map resolution I'll set this to low so don't put this to extra because this will highly affect your GPU and it will the temperature of your GPU it will be hot okay so yeah if you set this to extra your shadows will be dark and you can't see some enemies if you're inside the house or the building okay so put this to normal or low so for me I want more FPS so that's why I set this to low so for the cache spot shadows and cache sun shadows set this to enable because these two it will give you more fps okay particle lightning set this to low direct x retracing for those who have rtx 2060 up to rtx 2080 set this to disable if you want this enabled your shadows will be so dark okay it, it will like if you're it will look like playing on a PS4, it will have more graphics, okay? So if you want competitive gaming, set this to disabled, okay? Ambient occ occlusion, set this to disabled. Screen space reflection, you can set this to disabled or low or normal. But for me, I want to disable this. For anti-aliasing, if you want more FPS, set this to SMA 1x or SMA 2 times, okay? But for those who have low spec, set this to off or one times, okay? So for me, I set this to one times because I want more FPS. And I can see clearly on the enemies, but if I want to snipe on the long range, I can't, okay? So if you want to snipe on the long range, set this to two times or filmic SMA two times, okay? But for me, my personal preferences, 
is this one see me one time for the depth of field set this to disabled filmic strength zero road motion blur disabled weapon motion blur disabled and then film grain set this to zero okay guys so this is all of it if you want to copy my settings here i'm gonna scroll down just pause it okay so in my set so if you don't want to copy my settings it's all right because this is my personal preference for my gaming rig because you know my gaming rig is only running at the rx 570 4gb with 8gb of ram okay so that's why i i almost put this to all low okay so guys i hope you like this video make sure you like and feel free to subscribe if you have question make sure you comment down below and i will answer asap okay so thanks for watching guys hope you see you next time peace